Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 13 QPR3 Beta 1. This is the first beta for June 23 feature drop and I have it installed on the Pixel 6 Pro. And the reason I did that because it includes Marsh update which is not yet available for the Pixel 6 family in the stable cycle. So that's a great opportunity to show you what you should expect in Marsh update on your Pixel 6 models. And also if you don't want to wait for Marsh update to come out you can install this build and by the end of this video I will tell you if it has any major bugs or it's safe to use on your Pixel 6 Pro. So without further ado, let's jump in. Starting with the build number here we have T3B1.2. 230224.005 and now let's take a look at the new features. The first thing I noticed after installing this build is the 5G connectivity is now available in the UE which means that Google started to remove the restrictions for some countries so if you live in the Middle East and you own a Pixel phone you can give it a try and let me know in the comments if you also got 5G. The second new change is the availability of the display resolution toggle under the display settings this feature should be part of Marsh update the stable one but because this build includes it already that's why I have the feature right now on the 6 Pro and I can switch between uh, 1440p or 1080p if I want. We should also expect the faster night sight to be available in this build but unfortunately it's not. We still have the same old night sight but maybe it requires an update for Gcam so let's wait and see. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23 which is very affordable. To complete your purchase choose your preferred payment method, input the details and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about the changes related to this build specifically. And the first one is under the wallpaper and the style app. And now when you go to the wallpapers screen or the set wallpaper screen, you will get the same design of Android 14, which has all the buttons here at the top right corner. And if we're going to compare this side by side with the stable version, as you see here on the 7 Pro, this is the old design and this is the new design of Android 14. Uh, as you see here, all the buttons are at the top right corner and instead of having them at the bottom and everything is in full screen right away once you go to the page instead of tapping this button first. Now let's talk about the differences in the notification shade and the quick settings. And the first thing I noticed a bug in the do not disturb feature. As you see here, when I activate do not disturb on both, all the messages get cleared in the stable version. However, the uh, QPR3 beta 1 doesn't do this and also when I send myself new messages I still get them even though do not disturb is activated. The second difference on the first swipe the newer version will still show you the battery percentage which is not the case in March 23 update it will uh, show you the estimated time for your battery but you will only see the estimated time in the newer version when you do the second swipe. And finally, there are some tweaks in the home controls page. First, you will see that everything is shifted towards the top and also all the controls are narrower instead of filling the entire width of the screen. And we saw this new design in Android 14 as well. And when you go inside any of the devices, you will see here that the shading is different. In the newer version, I can see the Google Home app icon and also the text next to it, but this is not the case in Marsh update. The last change I spotted in this build is in the system-wide search. Now you will see the themed icon of Google Messages instead of the normal one, even though both have the themed icons feature activated. And I found this new change only happening with Google Messages for now, so I'm not sure if it's related to the app itself or something with this new build. Now let's talk about the performance and the stability of this build. From my experience while making this video, I didn't spot any showstopper here. It works perfectly well and everything works really smooth, except for the do not disturb bug that doesn't mute your messages or calls. 
but other than this it works great so if the do not disturb issue is not an, a problem for you you can install it on the 6 pro but keep in mind i'm not sure yet about the battery that's number one number two i'm not sure how it works on the pixel 6 model so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes in qpr3 beta 1 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video